podcast coming at you live from the top of the aggro crag. <laughs> <laughs> Never said that in a long time. Oh yeah. Uh, welcome to a very special uh, video game rental section edition of the Video Rangers. All right, let's call it podcast. That. that sounds good. I don't know what to call it. We're not doing a movie. No, it's we're just, not. Uh, video games. Well, yeah, I mean, we're doing the Switch. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch. Just came out. Because yesterday was switch Miss. Give it a switch Miss. <laughs> God. Maybe we have some stupid name for Come something. on, that's so funny. No, it's a good one. What I heard Give people that. say, I was like, switch oh, that's miss. great, man. So, uh, I I picked one up yesterday. I, I had pre-ordered it. Some first impressions, that's all. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I did get my system yesterday after... Uh, and I'll Mike's tell the, got a story. Uh, yeah, I had a long story about the fucking pro controller, uh, but my Amazon uh, pre-order of Zelda did not arrive yesterday like it was supposed to. I'm going to get it on Monday. So what do you want to do? You want to talk about the, the system, or should I tell the story first? Tell the story. All right. So I had pre-ordered uh, my, my Switch from GameStop. Aside from the fact that they were doing a real shitty job of keeping you updated what was going on, because I don't think I saw an email from them until like 1 in the morning, the day it was being released, that had just left Kentucky. You know? Good old Kentucky. So somehow it made it from Kentucky to my hands by like 3.30 in the afternoon, 4 o'clock. Great job, UPS. Showed up. You GameStop, usually you suck, but you got me my shit on time. Yep. I did pay for it, but anyway, <laughs> so somewhere along the line as they were introducing this, this system, uh, and for those of you that don't know, Nintendo does make video game consoles, uh, and they do. I, I didn't think that I was going to need a pro controller. I was kind of like, this will be something I get eventually. And, uh, you could use that controller yeah, that yeah, comes with but, it, but I didn't know what this felt like yet. I didn't touch it. You wanted to get a pro. Controller. I had heard from people that had touched these things that you know, like if you're gonna play for long periods of time, you have bigger hands. You're probably gonna want a pro controller. It feels really nice. I ended up getting like a fucking gift card, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'll let me get this thing." And I knew it was gonna be a pain in the ass to get, but I figured like I'm on the road all the time, so I pass Game Stops and Toys R Uses and Best Buys like on yeah, my way to could, work. Sure, you could find wherever one. I am. I, I'll just pop in for two minutes and see if I can get one. First thing I did, uh, seven, six something in the morning, I go into Target. They don't have any pro controllers. They're all sold out. Going to Walmart, same thing. I drive 18 miles to where I got to be for the day, and I go into another Target. They don't have any pro controllers, but they had 30-something extra switches that weren't pre-ordered, and they were like, oh, you can buy one. I was like, oh, well, I don't need one. I kind of wish you bought one just so. I thought about it. Hey, maybe make an extra hundred dollars on it. Yeah. You don't sell it, you sell it to me. I, I would have bought it, it eventually. I, I thought about it, man. If you, if you couldn't got, couldn't I would have put you on it. a payment plan. I would have got it from you. You would have gave me like five bucks a week or something. <laughs> on layaway. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, I would have gave it to you right away. Kind of like, um, you know, when Arnold got uh, to ride his bike early. Uh, <laughs> so I go into those stores, uh, the, the Walmart and the Target, in 18 miles away in another town. Uh, they don't have them either. So now game, I've already driven past a few game stops. Nobody was open at like eight in the morning. They don't open till like fucking 10. Yeah. So I managed to pass another, I see people lining up outside of Toys R Us and this is like nine 30. Uh, and I go over to Best Buy and nobody's waiting there. Mm-hmm. So I, I stand outside. It's me and like three other people. And then like four or five people all showed up at the same little few minutes later and the only reason I'm mentioning it is because it, it, it always, it never, it does, doesn't amaze me anymore how people can see a line. They can see how people are standing in a line and they just walk right past it like. Oh, that must be for something else. Yeah. Or they're for trying to pretend they're going. If you're going into a Best Buy, like, oh, I'm going to go buy a refrigerator. Yeah. All right, fine. And maybe like, yeah. they'll, they'll sneak their way in. So they open the doors. It's fucking freezing, by the way. And it was. They open the doors. I go inside, and they also don't have any pro controllers. So I was like, "All right, fuck it." But uh, Toys R Us is open now. It's right. I'm looking at it. I'll just walk over there, even though they had like a line. So I get in there, and there's fucking. Now I, I put some effort in, and I've been unlucky, and this was gonna be my, my last resort, you know. Mm-hmm. So I fucking go inside, and I walk over to where the video game section is, and there's a there's a. A group of people there, and it's somewhat chaotic, but it's really only about 10, 12 people. It's not a whole lot. And there's a guy 
in the glass case and he's handing out pro controllers and I can see I was like dude these guys are, they've got like 30 they got plenty they got of them. 30 I I'm going to be able to get one so he's handing them to people and people are going up to the register and he's then he grabs a couple and he starts walking them up yep. another guy shows up and he asked me what I need I was like oh I would like a pro controller he says okay and he grabs it he's like I'll bring it up to the register for you yep. and I'm a, I'm skeptical when he says it but I just saw the other guy do the same thing so I was kind of like all right you know, fine. So I get online now. There's about four or five people in front of me. And I'm, I'm nervous because I was like, something's going to go wrong. This is my luck. <laughs> and so I start hearing some chatter because a, a woman comes over, uh, looks like a manager. And she starts saying that there's a date on the Bomberman boxes that says they can't sell them until the 10th. And so she basically halts fucking halts everything. Yeah, stop. Everything let, stop. And all of a sudden, Bomberman, which is a fucking day one release, is not being sold. Like, you know, they're good, pulling. Yeah, it. even let, though like three or four people already slipped out with it. Because, like, listen, man, if there was a time to release Bomberman, it was right about now. Because that's not something the masses it's are going to be kicking down doors to go get. So this is where this lady doesn't understand. It's the release day. Yeah, you have it. That means it's being released today. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. He doesn't understand that. Whatever. So I wasn't getting Bomberman. I got, I theoretically had Zelda coming, even though Amazon still not shipped it. But I was supposed to get it. So I get closer, I get closer, and I'm I finally get up. It's my turn, and I was like, "Oh, this guy, the guy, guys, um, yeah, a pro controller." And the guy's looking at me like, number one, he looked at me like he didn't know what a fucking pro controller was, and I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, why are you working the launch of the of video? Mm. How do you not know what it is? How old is this guy? Like, he was a younger guy, but it was just like he didn't know what the fuck it was. But like, <laughs> I'm sure somebody said, hey, tomorrow morning uh, it's gonna be a little crazy. Nintendo's launching a product. Yeah, you think? I'm sure so. that conversation was had, you know. But so he starts asking the lady next to him. And she's like, we don't have any up here. And now I'm like, all right, my word. This you just is, saw uh, this guy yeah. bring some up. And I'm looking around. I'm like, I don't see any. What the fuck happened? And then they basically told me that they're not allowed to sell the Pro Controller until Sunday. And but, you now, can sell, but they can sell the system. Yeah. Oh, and then they told somebody it's else. It's a controller. But it gets better. <laughs> then they told somebody else that they weren't allowed to sell them the blue and the, and the red but, but the, the black ones they can sell. Yeah, but the black ones they can oh sell. It was all fucking, you know. So I, I walk it's out. Asinine. I walk out. I'm looking at a GameStop. I walk across to the GameStop. I had already heard him tell somebody he didn't have any pro controllers, but I just wanted to ask him if mm -hmm. they were on any kind of restriction. And the guy said no, and that's really stupid because if they can't get Bomberman and Toys R Us, they're just gonna come here and they're gonna be stuck with all the Bombermans. Yeah, yeah, I'd be surprised if you sold millions and millions of copies of Bomberman. Not that it's a bad. No, game. I think I think if it's, it's a release good game. is Don't only. Get me wrong. I think they'll do all right, but but yeah, but, it's not. But your store is telling you're, you're pissing people off. Yeah, people came. You're here. You're pissing these initial 20, 25 people off. Me, thing. Do not tell a person that lined up in Put front of your I'd store. Im I'd imagine that this thing come out today. You you left. Maybe tw maybe who knows? Maybe an hour or two later they figured out we could sell these. Yeah, someone fucking with. With some fucking oh, somebody got intelligence, the phones. yeah. Figured out like, oh yeah, we can sell these now. Yeah, yeah. It's so, release day. The, Everything's released. Uh, it's ridiculous, man. <laughs> there is no holdovers. Then I go into the game. When I go into the GameStop, the guys like, listen, I don't have any pro controllers, but I can scan this, and it'll give me like um, stores within the county that still that have them. The and then the he's like, I will call them, and then you can pay for yeah. it here, and then just pick it up there. I was like, all right, fine. So he calls them. He says, oh, this store and this store has extras. And he called. by the time he got them on the phone, they had already sold them. Uh, so I was like, all right, fuck. Toys R Us sucks. I was on a rampage. I th think I tweeted it. And then I have to go all the way down to Westchester after that. Um, I get down there. On my way home, I stop northern westchester in a game stop and i just happened to ask i was like dude do you have a pro controller mm -hmm. he's like last one by the time i got to my door i had driven like over a hundred <laughs> miles to get a fucking pro controller i gotta say it feels so what do you pretty, think of it, it feels what do you pretty think good in my hands yeah it feels good it 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 the picture when i when i saw the picture i thought it looked really bad yeah like just the way it looks but it's got a heaviness to it yeah and I feel like a pretty good controller. I recently just purchased a Wii U Pro controller because yeah. I am only getting I'm getting the that? Zelda for that. And I gotta say, this is a this is a pretty kick ass controller. Yeah. 
Can I touch your It's controller? a lot like uh looks a lot like the Xbox one. Obviously the system is pretty much dead now, <laughs> so I got this fifty dollar controller. But there's a plus. You know what? I like it. It does feel good. I'm gonna use it for my Raspberry Pi. I like it, man. I think it's, it's a pretty like... cool controller. Yeah. Now your your pro controller has like the gyro shit in it. Don't know what that means. I'm not sure what it means either. It's probably why it's so heavy yeah. compared to mine. Um, it has something to do probably with motion and aiming shit yeah. to some degree. I think that's what it has to do with. But I got to say, if yeah, it's nice controller. It's not like uh, I, f- I definitely fucking play with this. Yeah. I, I feel it's comfortable. Yeah. That's really just, just without playing anything. This is a pretty good controller. Yeah. So that's my story on the Com- on the pro controller. Um, it is heavy, is right. Um, but you go, like, pass that day. Okay, so no, Mike didn't want to play with the Switch controller. Well, I listen. You know, which I, is if it's you not don't that know, bad. because I didn't know either. The two little controllers that come that you, if you've seen, obviously you've probably seen the pictures that are on the side, both jo- sides Joy-Cons. of the Joy-Cons. Uh, the Joy Cons. <laughs> There's some other mechanism that you can slide them into. It it's basically the, becomes the Joy-Con grip. That's what so it's you called. got eight buttons, and you got two um, analog analogs, and, and they kind of give you a little control. It's not bad. It's no. very. It's. I'd rather have that pro controller. Exactly. Yeah. I but it's it. not so bad. Yeah. I gotta it say, ruin it. It's not as bad as I, I thought it was gonna be. I'd imagine it probably works pretty good. Yeah. They're not gonna give you total shit. It's no, Nintendo, it's Nintendo made. They don't do that. Um, it's got. Yeah. It's got. And hell, it's got, I didn't even notice, it's got the two, it's got both fucking yeah. triggers, the it Z, does. the L and R and the ZR and ZL. I like the Pro Controller because it's got the regular D-pad it's, on it. But how, this is their main controller though. You buy this. That's what you get with it. This but, is what it's turned, it's basically a cube, it's like a cube. Yeah. Like a square. It's gotten very small. It's very different, However, man. Nintendo but, did give you two controllers, technically. Yeah, and then yeah. And we've, we we played a snippet, what was it called? Uh, snippet clips or something like that. And when you just use a little, like, two-player and you both have your tiny little controller, I mean, it works. It's not ideal, I imagine. But it, if, listen, if we're playing on a tiny little screen, a little television. Yeah, in a park somewhere. And I imagine you're, yeah, you could bring <laughs> yeah. it anywhere. So if, you know, you, you finish work early, bang, you could bust this out. Yeah. Play Mario Kart, play whatever. And you got a second controller that's tiny that you can that works. Yeah. I mean, if you go to a, a really really nice safe high school, you can probably play this in the parking lot before safe school. Safe high school, <laughs> and, you know, nobody will steal it from you. Maybe, uh, but so just first, I gotta say that like, all this shit is just really fucking neat. It's cool from where we <laughs> come from. We're from the Game Boy era. We're, and that it, thing looked like shit. It's man. very Nintendo. Yeah. I'll tell you. It's yes. definitely very Nintendo. It's all the nonsense, the, all the gimmicky shit that they've done over the years, like rolled into one like, like hey, we, we might have figured out how to make gimmicky things and it'd still be cool for more than like a couple of minutes. I just hate, I hate the motion controls. I do I'm too. I'm glad that's kind of like... I think they well these are these move, function moved, like moved it. out of it yeah I mean it's still part of it but they kind of move forward. Like this isn't we, the I only can, thing you can do. Yes, yeah, that you can like do something else. You don't have to use motion controls for a game if you want if you have to. Um, I was thinking about this the other day because uh, I, I was holding a GameCube controller, and mm. I was wondering why like Xbox and PlayStation have pretty much kept the basic layout of their controller give or take like the, the, basically playstation the kinda, buttons yeah. don't move playstation the might become the the, the 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 original playstation controller has become somewhat of the format a lot of people yeah a lot of the, the controllers have become yeah they're similar with the multiple analogs the two uh shoulder you know four shoulder buttons yeah it's so, become like the the standard and Xbox keeps like there's the same all the time. I mean, the shape might change a and little bit. And I suppose bit. you can you can you know obviously, why does it, they're very similar though? But yeah. it's no. I was just wondering if if Xbox basically keeps the same idea and PlayStation keeps the same idea. Why doesn't Nintendo just keep the GameCube controller? Ascent, like what's wrong with? Because it's a pretty comfortable. Well, the controller. Wii U, Wii, I got the Wii U Pro controller here. They're they're very similar. Yeah, the but from but the, the Switch the Pro stick controller parts are in a different spot. It's the only difference. Yeah. So it's like, why do they keep changing it? Why don't they just leave it? I don't know. 
It's not a big deal. I'm just, I just things I'm thinking about when I'm lying in bed looking at the stars. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know, Michael. So just like first impressions, because I didn't have a game, so I ended up downloading uh, Shovel Knight. Um, Excellent which game. I've heard of, but I don't really know too much about. And I got the one that's nine ninety nine. I think it's Shovel Knight, like Temptation, something. Okay. I don't know a whole lot about it. I've only had the system for a little bit, so I, that I need something to play. But Shovel Knight's good. Yeah. So Cla- it's a classic. It's a yeah new game that looks like old game, an old game. Yeah. It looks it's fabulous. Um, now I did bring, uh, I brought the the Switch over here, but I'd only brought like the the screen and the controllers. I did not bring the docking station. The docking station's a little surprising because if you if you hold it, it's really fucking light and it's mm-hmm. really just plastic with some ports in it. I don't. So it's like cheap. I don't want to say it's cheap like they they rip me off or something. I think it's more like it's yeah it's surprisingly like it's just not as you thought it'd be it, more substantial. I thought it'd be like because when I look at a PlayStation or an Xbox, it's like look, there's a lot of shit in there. You know, like it's heavy. It's kind of like. This is well, outputting in HD, not quite Xbox PlayStation. It's basically whatever it is holds. When you dock it into the television, and you get a better get better gra- uh, graphics, correct? Well, you're supposed to get a little bit more. It jumps power. a little bit, yeah. Yeah. So little. there's something in that docking station. Yeah. That's I'd turning imagine. it into something more that, than yeah, it is. There's more guts. But you couldn't feel it when you. But the it outside up. is light. The outside's light. Uh, and whatever's inside. And I'm is playing Shovel just... Knight, so I can't tell you if there was a graphical update. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so. Not necessarily. Uh, no, you really yeah. can't. Uh, I played majority of the time. I actually didn't dock it. I was pl- sitting in my bed playing it. Yeah. Or sitting on the couch. Um, it actually is really, really comfortable with the Joy Cons on the side. Mm-hmm. Problem is the buttons are so fucking small. That after a while, it kind of that's the up, problem with the yeah. Joy Cons. If you're playing with a tiny, yeah. they are small. Even side to side, they're small. Yeah, they felt like they were digging into my thumb after a while. Yeah. So eventually, when I did dock it, uh, and I and I finally figured out how to hook this thing up because it actually took me some time because I didn't read the instructions like an idiot. And uh, <laughs> like, Jump so right yeah. It, it, by the way, if anybody else is an idiot like me and didn't read the instructions, even though I'm pretty sure they are on the box. Uh, you can just plug your pro controller into the system to the USB port and it will auto sync. Just so yeah. everybody knows. I'm sure most people do. Anybody that bought this thing probably day one knows exactly what they're doing. But yeah, so I played Shovel Knight on the TV. It was it was cool. Uh, I mostly played it on my hand though. Battery life seems okay. It's like three hours of the screen. That's yeah. not bad. You could bring it to work with you if yeah. you want. So, because I don't have Zelda, I can't really talk about anything cool about this thing, except for we played Snipper Clips, and we played... It's a cute little game. I agree yeah. with that. We get a demo it. of it. It's actually pretty cool. should have been a packing game. Yeah. It really should have been. It's... It would have yeah. been perfect to show, to show the game, because you automatically have two controllers. Yeah. Which isn't a thing. I haven't done that in a you long time. You automatically have two controllers, so bang. You have your friend over. You have your, you know, your little, your your son, your daughter. You can play that game immediately with them, and just get the, the, you know, like, just you know, show you what the game, you know, immediately you have someone to play with. Yeah, which is nice, and you know, a little, it's this cute little game. I gotta say, from the first, uh, like t- playing that for 10, 15 minutes, it really should have been a packing game. Yeah, no, it sh- it should have. And to be honest with you, from what I'm reading about uh, One Two Switch on on which the app, which is probably very yeah. similar. It's like I, uh, yeah. I think it's like the Wario game, which is like it's like quick little mini games. From from I, way, that's what uh, the War, old yeah, Wario game was. It's a shitload of mini games, but um, I what I read was uh, I was on Amazon today and I was like reading the reviews for what's out right mm-hmm. now. And uh, one two switch uh, is obvious. There's not a what whole lot out. What games came out? One two switch. One two switch. Zelda. Zelda. Bomberman. And uh, Zelda. like an old man. Fuck. It, yeah, it's Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Um, one two switch. Oh, is the Zelda out? <laughs> Bomberman R. <laughs> Fuck. I forgot what the fourth one was, man. Snipper clips, snipper clips, maybe. I thought that was a download only. I don't remember what the fourth one was. So, so we have a three or four release at, at release. Yeah, that, like Nintendo Switch. Was it the game they're talking? Games. There's a game that they, they people are comparing or saying is F Zero or something. I don't know. But so anyway, fucking, I was on Amazon. I was reading the reviews of One Two Switch. 
because I'm not buying it because it's fifty bucks and I'm never going to get worth that. It's not worth fifty dollars. Yeah. It, it, Amazon, like, listen, people bitch about everything. Like, even like a great product will have bad reviews. But so I signed on and I'm looking at the reviews. Fifty percent were like all one star reviews. Of what? And that says something. Just like, an, of of one two switch of the game. People, like, people were just like, you know what? I played they're pissed 20, off. They paid you know, fifty dollars for yeah. it. They were like, That's I don't why. like this. I don't want to play this. Like it was a lot of people. I thought this would be fun for my kids. It's just not like that great. I thought it was cute. I think it's like something like you, I mean, we you played it for ten in. minutes, yeah. but yeah, it's it, like I said, it definitely should have been a pack again. Yeah. There's no way I'm paying fifty dollars. I'd be pissed too if I paid fifty dollars for it's this. It's a bunch of tech demos. That's all it really is. It's like like they got these cute little characters. They're just like shapes, yeah. and you kind of it kind of just goes goes about getting you familiar with the system. So yeah, as far as like Zelda, the game, like everybody like actually wants to play, I I, I won't have it till Monday. <laughs> But but the Joy Cons themselves, like the, on the sides, it feels good. It's not uncomfortable if at all. Everything, the, all the controllers feel actually yeah. in the actual uh, main controller when you slide both both Joy Cons together. It's not too bad. Uh, I'd give it a shot if you if you don't want to spend the extra seventy dollars for a Pro controller. Yeah. I think you'd be. I right. give it a shot on your Zelda playing this with Zelda yeah. first. If not, as I'm saying, you, you're automatically buying three controllers. Yeah. Like. It kind of dropped the ball. It kind of sucks if you don't like this, which I can see people not liking. Yeah, but it's it feels good. It doesn't feel like it's ch- cheap or anything. It feels like uh, I, I could probably use it I, if I had to. After I actually touched I might it, not, like, I I kind of think I I I didn't need this the way I thought I did mm-hmm. immediately. Um, but I'm kind of glad I got it. It's how a three hundred dollar system becomes a four hundred dollar system real yeah. fast. Yeah. But so I mean, we like of, Nintendo, but like it's some little dirty stuff they pull. But to be honest with you, like I'm actually surprised. Like when I think about what the Vita cost, I'm like, man, this isn't that. Shit's expensive. This That's, isn't everything's that bad. expensive. I I actually think like this could do this could do well. When I well, play a game like Shovel Knight, it, and put I'm it like, this way, the, you know, uh, Xbox and all these controllers are expensive now, and now yeah. even Nintendo they're jumping it up seventy, eighty dollars for controllers. Yeah. What? I don't know what is what is a PlayStation Four or Xbox a new Xbox controllers go for. I don't think it's eighty dollars. It's probably cheaper than that. It's probably like fifty or sixty. Yeah, you can get an expensive so Xbox. So what's controller. the next system? Maybe a hundred dollars for controller. I don't know, and it. I just think that um, it's actually not. It's it's really cool. <laughs> I mean, it's just when I think about the first video game system I played, this is like. So the, it's very future, different, man. man. That you can take your system with you. No, so that e- was the dream. So though. easily. Remember, like you seriously. play it on the plane when the game. <laughs> yeah, when the Game Boy hit, we were like immediately. People were like, "Oh, that's pretty cool," but it really kind of wasn't. At least for me, I didn't love it. I, I kind of got dizzy when I would. Play. Depends on the game you play. Yeah, but yeah. I would play. You Tetris had problems on with it. lighting. Yeah, lighting you couldn't was see the fucking thing. And the, if you, I, I, yeah. I had the original Game Boy when it came yeah. out. I got it was like ninety dollars. Um, and yeah, it was a lot of problem with getting the angle correct. It yeah, didn't have, yeah. And I, I couldn't see. I, had I didn't spend fucking, the money to get the light. I had that magnifying glass thing. It was awful. And then you know the Game Gear came out, and it immediately was like, all right, this is in color. That's cool. But the battery life sucked. And then the the Lynx came out, and that was really cool. That but I like, never knew anybody that was, had one. But it was just too too far gone for anyone to fucking get that. Um, the Nomad, like the and the battery life, and all these things sucked. And when Game Boy Color came out, see the thing is when when handheld gaming got really good, like in the DS, 3DS, era, PSP era. By the time that happened, I had been I just didn't like what I had before that, so mm-hmm. I didn't translate into that. Yeah. Now that I have like a, a like 3DS or whatever, it's it's actually pretty nice. Well, I, this, this screen is big enough that you can just stand up and play. You know, yeah. it stands up. It's not. I don't have to like bend my back over like a controller. Like, you know what I mean? I can I can stand on a table and play. I mean, I can I can get used to that and yeah. play a game. Yeah, I mean, if it's you cool. want, I mean, you can play in your hands as well. Yeah, which is so you can do either one you whatever you want. Which it's is cool. nice. You're in a room and you want to play a game and, and uh, you're not bother anybody. Uh, yeah, and your kids want to watch TV, but let's let, you, yeah, let's yeah. say in a world where Nintendo gets a, a a real sick 
Resident Evil game in the future, and you don't want your kid to look at it. Mike's hoping. For you know. <laughs> well, I mean, they've gotten Resident Evil before. I'm just saying, yeah, like, yeah. you know, the games that you you want to play, but you don't want to play in front of your kid. They can watch fucking Winnie the Pooh, and you could just be sitting on the couch <laughs> playing this. I mean, that's what's what's cool about it—the dream of being able to merge the two. And like, obviously, uh, I'm looking at my Wii. Some games, they've been trying so. to do this since the last system. It just didn't work yeah. out. It was, I mean, you could have your system on, and you could be at work. Let's even say, and you could just play the game because you have your own TV screen and the controller, and play it. But this is going a step f- uh, further. It's it's fucking cool, man. It's yeah, I gotta say it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. It's but you know, like I said, it's very Nintendo. It's oh yeah. Nintendo's become now like almost like the the spaz of the high school. They just video do things games. different. Yo, know, Xbox and PlayStation Four do it this way, and they do they they yeah. they, they, they zag. The thing about Xbox and PlayStation is like they're basically the same thing. I mean, More, yeah. they've got the same games, give yeah. or take one or two. And Nintendo's like, all right, let's do things a little different because if we we don't need three systems doing the same thing. You know, yeah, I just, mean, honestly, you don't. And then it's all about exclusives. But yeah, if you're going to do a whole different thing and just nail it, you got to nail it. And that's what they try to do with the motion controls. And they've been trying to do motion controls since the Nintendo with the, the power, power glove. glove. And the fucking tr- and the pad, the listen, power the, pad. The Wii was a hit, and but the Wii U wasn't. It's a fucking failure. Even though people say it's a really good system, that's but the I can only. See where they're going. They're yeah. going. They, they they wanted a mobile system. Yeah, they want to merge the two. The docking system is cool. If anything ever happens, Nintendo will always be making games, and Nintendo will always be making mobile systems. They're not going. Broke. That seems like that's that's will always yeah. be a thing. If they don't necessarily have a a home console, yeah, they're not going to be Sega anytime soon. No, it's, it's I don't not think happening. so. You're not going to no. be Atari. That's I don't not think happening. so. I understand. You know, a lot of people hate on Nintendo. You should grow up. And if they, if you make, just, it's all about the gameplay. That's what yeah. it should be. I wish they would get more third party support. I mean, honestly, I, 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 yeah, it'd be I nice. know that. It'd be nice to not own two different, three different systems just to play certain things. But fucking, what's cool? It's just, I mean. I don't know. I I because I guess because I have an Xbox One, I'm kind of okay with them trickling games out slowly, because mm. it's like if I want to play something, I can't get. I, I have the option, but yeah, if you don't want to spend a shitload of money, like a thousand dollars on video game consoles, and you know, it's that that's where it becomes a pain in the ass. All right, so Nintendo's a plus to us, yeah. right? Nintendo. I'd say so. I think it's. I'll probably be getting one eventually. Let's, you know, we'll see. I pre-ordered Mario Kart. Did you? Yeah. Comes out in the spring? I think so. I don't need it immediately, but I figured. Let me get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Nintendo Switch. It is not the Virtual Boy. Ha. It already <laughs> sold more than the That'd Virtual Boy. Bad. And I owned one. Mike owned a Virtual Boy. Yeah, I owned a Virtual Stay Boy. Stay tuned for that story. It's not as good as the Saturn story. The Saturn story is good. Alright. Anyway, until next time, if you've played a Nintendo Switch, me too. Me too. <laughs> Alright. <laughs>